but you see when he goes to the right, He's very suspect. In this video, I'm going to challenge the opinion of another basketball YouTuber. So I was searching through YouTube to see if I could find some more one-on-one -on -one videos to react to when I came across a video by Chris Lemon. He's a college baller with his own channel. He used to play college ball from what I understand. Definitely check him out if you haven't already. He's got some entertaining stuff on his own channel and he's a really good player. Anyhow, Chris was reacting to the Marcellus vs. Kenny game, and I want to challenge one of his opinions, one of his reactions regarding Marcellus Howard. Let's play the clip because I want you to hear his opinion, and then I'm going to challenge what he's saying here. I can go either way. Ooh, I like the way you pull it up on you, though. Know. Okay, nice. Now, I want y'all to see something. Did y'all see something? Let me see if y'all really watch basketball. Check this out. You see when he was going to the left, very dominant, getting to the rim, bullying Kenny. But you see when he go to the right, he has to shoot. He's limited. Now, I say he can't go to the right, but that's just a little sign right there. You feel me? That, that I pick up on that I just told you guys about. Sometimes I wouldn't say anything, and I would just use it to my advantage when I'm in the game. But you see when he goes to the right, he's very suspect. All right, so here's where I disagree somewhat with Chris based upon the clip we saw of Marcellus. Now I get it, Marcellus did shoot the ball there, but Chris seems to be under the impression Marcellus should have been able to finish the drive like Marcellus had already done a few times going to his left. So first things first, from this clip and this clip alone, we don't know what Marcellus was thinking. Maybe he knew he was going to step back before even trying to drive because when I look at the drive, he wasn't attacking Kenny's left shoulder that hard, which makes me think he was thinking about shooting the ball or at least setting up a shot before he even drove. Who knows? We aren't Marcella, so obviously we're speculating, but I will say this. The difference between your first step going to the left and your first step going to the right when your right foot is your pivot foot, as it is for most left-handers, is huge. It's much easier to explode and go this way than it is that way when your right foot is your pivot foot. So. I'd agree with Chris on his point about Marcellus's drive to the right if Marcellus had had his left foot as his pivot foot and he had tried to drive by Kenny but couldn't because then we know he had set up the drive to the right like Marcellus had set up his drive to the left. Although one more thing just came to me. We may not even know, even in the circumstance I just described, we may not know 100% because just like people have a favorite side to drive to, their dominant side, so people have a favorite side to guard and defense. And so it might turn out that Kenny is better able to guard the right side to drive than he is the left. In fact, I'd go as far to say that this is a huge benefit of being left-handed. People aren't used to having to switch up their stance and force you to the right. They're used to forcing people to the left, so already the left-hander has an advantage. Anyhow, I feel like I'm just kind of rambling at this point. If you've made it this far in my monologue, congratulate yourself by hitting that like button, subscribe, and make sure you turn on the notifications so you get to be the first person to watch my next monologue. So I'm curious though, what are your thoughts? Do you agree with me on what I've said about Marcellus's drive or are you able to explode both ways equally well regardless of what pivot foot you've established? Leave me a comment and let me know. Peace.